Hi there, Dave with Crandall Office, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to adjust your steel case AMIA chair. So let's get started. All right, so the first adjustment we're gonna be taking a look at on the EMEA chair is gonna be the seat height adjustment. And this is an easy one to find, it's labeled right on the lever. And so to raise the seat height up, you're going to make sure there's no weight in the chair. You're gonna pull the lever upwards. And as you can see, the seat height raises. To lower the seat height, you're gonna put weight into the chair. So just sit in the chair, pull the lever upwards again. And as you can see, the seat height lowers back down. All right, so the next adjustment we're gonna be taking a look at is gonna be the seat depth adjustment. This is gonna be on the left-hand side of the chair when you're sitting in the chair. Uh, it's easier to get out of the chair so there's no weight on the seat, but all you need to do is lift this lever upwards, and as you can see, this will go forward and backwards on the seat. All right, the third adjustment we're gonna be taking a look at today is the backstop adjustment. As, as you can see here, this is this lever in the back on the right-hand side of the chair. It is labeled backstop. Uh, to engage, you're gonna to wanna to lean forward a little bit, make sure there's no pressure applied on the back, and then push this lever forward. As you can see, with that engaged, I can no longer lean back in the chair. Now let's take a look at the adjustable arms on the steel case of Mia. What we've got here is the fully functional 4D arms, which are gonna be the same arms that are available on the Think and the Leap lines as well. Uh, they've been made for a long time. They're highly adjustable and, and great arms. We're gonna show you how they work here. So to adjust the height of these arms, there's this button on the outside. You're gonna depress this button and the arm is going to go up and down. Uh, to pivot in and out, there's no buttons. You just pivot the arm in and out, should move freely. And you also have a front to back slide that moves freely as well. The next adjustment we'll be taking a look at is gonna be the back tension. This is gonna be again on the right hand side of the chair and it's gonna be this circular knob right here. And so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the, the backstop that we talked about earlier is not engaged so that you can lean back in the chair. And then you're gonna to wanna to turn this knob uh, forward or clockwise to increase the tension and make it more difficult to lean back in the chair and counterclockwise or backwards to make it easier to lean back in the chair. There's quite a bit of adjustment here so you can really kind of fine tune this to however, whatever level of adjustment that you'd like to lean back in the chair. All right, so the last adjustment we're gonna be taking a look at on the steel case Amiya chair is gonna be the lumbar adjustment. And as you can see, this is the two handles that you see on either side of the back. And to adjust, you're gonna either take both of these and move upwards or downwards. And that's gonna allow you to kind of set that lower back pressure to wherever you want it in your lower back. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you found it helpful, go ahead and click the like and subscribe buttons below. Uh, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to us, our website, crandalloffice.com, our Facebook page, anywhere you can reach us, we're here to help. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. So lastly, we're, yeah, <laughs> lastly. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <coughs>